talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. What is up, Fox? It is I, Jet, your friendly neighborhood stalker, and I do apologize. I haven't made a video in a few days. There's a reason for that, I assure you. The reason is I got my last injections of the epidural and my hands ended up looking like I had Parkinson's and I didn't feel like getting on here and talking to you guys and having to hear the bullshit comments about are you cracked out because your hands won't stop shaking? Are you smoking crack, huh? You on the meth? So, I decided it'd be better if I just kept my shaky hands to myself. So I did. But anyways, now I'm here. So let's, let's do a video, shall we? Because you guys know I like to do my videos. You, me, watch videos together. And cringe in unison like the family that we are comments for comments are due and today's video was done by io it's about our very special guest on this channel kanye west now so is said that kanye west is bipolar and that's from his wife not from me and they've been trying to get him treatment but they can't he won't agree to it nor will he agree to be medicated again this is from his wife not me now i'm not diagnosing him trying to treat him nothing like that this is just one crazy person recognizing another person like themselves because i don't know if you guys knew this we can smell our own and we just, we know our own when we see it. So, that's what this is. So we're going to check out Kanye West's biggest freak out from her lately. And we're just going to talk about it. We're just going to say hi and we're just going to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, we're adults here. So let's get into it. Kanye West, as of late, has been an absolute mess, and his wife, Kim Kardashian, has finally arrived on the ranch to have what the press are calling crisis talks. And to make matters worse, emergency service vehicles were also spotted at the ranch and were apparently treating him for a severe anxiety attack. I told People Magazine that the couple have been discussing a split for quite some time now. With Kanye's latest string of controversial tweets and statements during his rallies... <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, he just mentioned something about Kanye West rally, yeah? And he said controversial tweets and comments at his rally. Let's just focus on the comments at his rally. The one I'm most concerned about that I heard, I actually heard it from his mouth. I wasn't there personally, but I, I saw the video. The words exited his, his mouth. It was when he talked about Harriet Tubman not, not freeing slaves. She merely took them from the slave owners in the south to the north, to northern slave owners. So in essence, they weren't, the, the slaves weren't free. They merely changed addresses, but kept the same profession, I guess you'd say. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let that marinate with you guys. Things are not exactly looking great. His behavior has certainly been very erratic since announcing his 2020 presidential bid. Admit it, he looks just like Forrest Gump in this picture. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lay this right here for you.
Kim has seemingly been trying to handle the situation in a mature manner by standing beside Kanye even at his very worst. On July 24th, he postponed the release of his new album titled Donda just hours before it was about to drop. According to The Blast, Kanye instead made a stop at the emergency room in Wyoming because he was experiencing severe anxiety issues. The following day, West then tweeted an apology to his wife saying, I would like to apologize to my wife Kim for going public with something that was a private matter. I did not cover her like she has covered me. To Kim, I want to say I know I hurt you. Please forgive me. Thank you for always being there for me. Why? Why are they apologizing over Twitter? You know, when I fuck over my husband because of my bipolar, you know what I do? I look him dead in his eye and I say, I'm fucking sorry. I'm a mess and I do apologize. What do you want for dinner? Your, your, your choice. I'll make it. If I screw him over way too much, I ask him if he wants to see my boobies. How hard is that? At no point do I ask him those questions over Twitter. Maybe Facebook. But that's just for shits and giggles. Just to make other people uncomfortable. was treated for his anxiety, left, and then fired off this tweet apologizing to his wife. Although him talking about nearly not having his daughter North should have been followed immediately with an apology to Kim. With him just tweeting even more craziness after that rally, it only stoked the flames for what could be a massive divorce settlement if these two don't figure things out. The sad thing is that all of this talk of divorce would never have risen if Kanye didn't start tweeting that he was trying to divorce Kim. I don't know if it was an episode of Mania. Yes. Yes, it was a case of Mania. That's pretty much exactly what it was. We, people with bipolar disorder do some crazy shit. There's some people with bipolar disorder that when they get to that depressive state, that miserable state, they feel no self-worth. They feel guilty for no reason. They do the strangest fucking shit. I've known a woman who takes a credit card or she will sign up for a credit card and immediately go on a shopping spree. She will just wipe out an entire credit card buying shit she didn't need. Some of the shit ended up in the back of her car. Not worn, not used, not eaten. But the whole thing of buying it made her happy. I also knew another person who liked to screw everything that wasn't nailed down with a heartbeat. Just insanity. During manic episodes, you would do literally anything when it come to your head. So he probably said that shit because at that moment, it was probably something in his head and a hair up his ass. When you're in a manic state, if it pops into your head, you immediately like, I gotta do this. I remember a manic point I got into a fight with my husband and I can't even remember what we were yelling at each other about. But I ended up walking out of the house. No shoes, no wallet, nothing, no house keys. Barefoot, no socks, mm -mm. nothing. And I just started walking on the side of the road just kept walking I think it was like two miles by the time they found me my feet were wrecked blisters scuffs scrapes glass holding yards not puncture wounds or anything from the glass it's just scuffed you know when they asked me why I did it and I just had no answer except for I didn't want to be in the house anymore. And he's like, why didn't you put any fucking shoes on? And I literally couldn't tell him. Because when you're in a manic episode, whether it's a depressive episode, angry episode, whatever it is, when your emotions are out of control 
and you can't control your own self, if it pops into our head, bitch, it's coming. It is coming. I just feel bad for Kim. Honestly, I do. And now they have a kid. I think they got three kids, don't they? He needs to get medicated. Or at least counseling. But I don't think he's gonna do all that with some treatment. Sure enough, he was treated for his anxiety, left, and then fired off this tweet apologizing to his wife. Although him talking about nearly not having his daughter North should have been followed immediately with an apology to Kim. With him just tweeting even more craziness after that rally, it only stoked the flames for what could be a massive divorce settlement if these two don't figure things out. The sad thing is that all of this talk of divorce would never have risen if Kanye didn't start tweeting that he was trying to divorce Kim. I don't know if it was an episode of Mania or if he was just fired up and tweeted that and then immediately immediately followed up with an apology, but when Kim saw those tweets, a source close to the family said that she just broke down in tears. Just yesterday, a paparazzi snapped these shots of the pair having crisis talks in their car after Kim flew to Wyoming. It's clear in these photos that Kim is extremely upset and sobbing while they have these intense conversations. The toughest part for this celebrity couple was that they weren't beside each other when all of this was going down. I believe Kim was in LA for filming of Keeping Up With The Kardashians while Kanye had secluded himself at his ranch in Wyoming. Oh, there you go. Seclude yourself out in the wilderness. That's a great idea. Life's going crazy. Marriage is going crazy. You're a manic little bipolar bunny. Let's just seclude yourself in the middle of nowhere by just, just by yourself and alone. All you need to do is play with your thoughts a little bit because that's a great idea. I think you had another one here who needs a fucking helmet. Really. The one thing a bipolar person doesn't need is to be alone to face the things they think in their head. Because it sucks. You know what I feel most of the time is one person tells me Oh, this will be great. We'll get dressed. We'll go shopping. You can do this. Even though there's mild pain. You're every woman. You're a goddess. And then I get into the bathroom to get a shower. And I look in the mirror. And my inner child starts laughing and just goes, Wow. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going? Out of the house. Good luck on that one. Have fun. Are you going to wear that? Seriously? God, if those rolls could talk. <laughs> and it gets worse from there. A bipolar person. Never to be left alone. Especially if they haven't got counseling or anything. They do not know how to play with those shit. Thoughts in your head are not going to play nice, bro. Don't do it. An insider told People Magazine that she's tried multiple times to reach out to Kanye, but he just repeatedly ignored her. This is the first time the couple have actually been pictured together, and it's clear that Kim is done with being ignored. I should also mention that during that rally, the rapper appeared to acknowledge that his comments would be met with a negative reaction by his family. He explained that if his wife were to divorce him after making those comments, he would still be thankful that she had North. In terms of actual divorce proceedings, nothing is really official. With the couple now being pictured together, at least discussing the matter in person, this could go one of two ways. Either they stay together and work it out, or they split up and go their separate ways. According to TMZ, the latter is becoming the more likely option at this point. Kanye recently made another last ditch effort to get on another ballot, and this time it was in Missouri. A representative for the Secretary of State confirmed that Kanye had submitted enough signatures before the 5 p.m. deadline on Monday to be considered as an option for the November 3rd elections. In addition to this, he also spent upwards of $30,000 to just get on the ballot in his home state of Illinois last week. I'd vote for Biden, but, I mean, Kanye would still be better than Trump, 
And even so. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'd be the same as Trump, actually. No, no, I'm not voting for him. No. And if I can give my opinion on this matter before we check out some of your comments, I really don't think like continuing down this path of the presidency is going to be wise for his wallet or his mental health. After Kanye checked into the hospital, he returned to his ranch accompanied by an ambulance. <laughs> I shit you not. When I saw that ambulance and he's like, when he returned from the hospital, I immediately thought, did he steal an ambulance to go home? But then I, I heard the rest of the sentence, and it, was, and it was not as cool as I thought it was going to be. I was so hoping Kanye West stole an ambulance to go home. I was going to give him, I was about to give him so many pimp points, because that would have been phenomenal. But he had the ambulance follow him home, so that's not as cool. Thanks, Kanye. But the bizarre thing is that he also invited four members of the paparazzi inside of his home. TMZ was told that they waited two hours before he emerged and said that he wanted them to be present in order to control the narrative. Although I'm not sure what angle that he was going with here because it all looks pretty bad and the photos are just proof of that. A source close to Kanye and with direct knowledge told the press that he was overwhelmed with the amount of people around him at the ranch and that's why his team ultimately ended up calling an ambulance. EMT has then checked his vitals, heart rate, and blood pressure before determining that he was not in any danger of a panic attack. After the ambulance left his property, another photo was taken showing him riding away on an ATV. So that last shot. Wow, Kanye. Just wow. You really look like a spoiled kid riding away on that ATV. You do. You're like, if we aren't gonna play the game I want, I'm just gonna go home. all these people out in front of your house and shit you're gonna ride away into the sunset because you felt overwhelmed you invited him there dildo <laughs> I shouldn't be so mean you think like he would know he needs help A lot of us know when we need help. We comply, that's what we do. But this is insanity. And he's probably one of those people that believes because you, it's undeniable that Kanye West is one hell of an artist. I dig a lot of his music. He's probably one of those people that believes if he's treated for bipolar disorder or medicated that it might keep him from continually being a, like a fantastic artist and creating music. And that's not exactly how that goes. There's a lot of people out there who believe, you know, the thing that keeps them in the creative mindset will be taken away. Uh, that's not how it works. Well, unless, you know, you have to get high to paint. That might not work out in combination with your medication. Some of the medications can give you a stroke and whatnot if you take drugs with it. I'm just thinking. But Kanye, you should really, really, really think about at least getting counseling if you don't want to be drugged. That's going to be terrible for your children. It's already... It's already fucking over your wife something special. But, you know... Eventually, you're going to have to grow up. See the people around you that get emotionally... I don't want to say emotionally abused. I mean, I can't, that's not exactly what's going on, but emotionally exhausted. There you go. The people around you are getting emotionally exhausted 
basically putting up with your shit. A lot of people for the longest time put up with my shit. But eventually people, when they're hurt so many times, end up not wanting to give you the consideration. It's like they stop saying, well, she has bipolar disorder. She can't help it. Eventually, they're not going to fucking say that anymore. It gets old. And you hurt someone's feelings way too many times. They're going to stop loving you and they're going to stop giving you the benefit of the doubt. Especially when you hide their shit for shits and giggles. <laughs> you know what I mean. You don't realize it now, but as you start to become an adult and at least do something to keep yourself human and level, that's when you realize how shitty you treat the people around you. But you doing the step of becoming human again, I guess you would say, the more those people tend to come back. So, I mean, it is repairable. All, not all relationships are repairable. And that's just something you have to deal with. But some are, if you get to it quick. Well, this is it for tonight, children. Hang up your happy faces. Be nice. Like, share, subscribe. But if you don't, it's perfectly fine. I understand I'm an asshole. <sighs> but apparently, Amberlynn can put up something about wanting to fuck her ex-girlfriend. But I'm an asshole. A giant gaping asshole for making fun of her when she's pretty much alive and probably doesn't have cancer anymore. Oh, I'm a dick. But she can say, I want to fuck my ex-girlfriend while her girlfriend's mother just fucking died. Okay. Okay, I got you. I got it. I got it. Yeah. I guess I see you, bitch. I see you, bitch. Hey, right. I'm sorry. Now I can really see why you don't want to subscribe. Or like it. But I'll still be sitting in front of this camera talking to myself later. As I do. So, again, be nice. I'll talk to you later. Adios.